Albania, the continent's first detention center for illegal immigrants. It was set up under an agreement with the Italian government, which has had to deal with an influx of illegal migrants from Africa in recent years. This is a new, bold, unprecedented path, but one that perfectly reflects the spirit of Europe and that has all the qualifications to be applied to other non-EU countries. The problem is that the Italian solution is unacceptable for many countries. It is as much a matter of scale as it is about the left-wing groups that oppose such camps. Last year, 300,000 people came to Germany illegally. That is far too many. We are very clear about this. We need a system that secures the backbone of our economy and allows skilled workers to migrate. Germany wants selection. Those who do not qualify for admission will be subject to a forced resettlement procedure under the migration pact adopted a few months ago. This was a big decision we took. Uh, in April, let's understand that there are gaps. We haven't moved on returns. We need to make sure that the implementation is effective. And let's also look at possibilities to understand, important, understand the position and situation that individual member states find themselves in uh, within the parameters of our values and international law. However, this is a significant change in the narrative of European officials from what they were saying only a few years ago. According to commentators, this is a direct result of the growing support for right-wing anti-immigrant parties across Europe. This is a constant trend that we can observe throughout the European Union. Ursula von der Leyen sees that the right-wing parties are getting too strong. She sees everything that is happening in Germany, that is, the growing support for the AFD, mainly because of illegal immigrants. All this has made it necessary to introduce certain rules they will have to achieve the right effect. That is, to score political points where the narrative of closing the borders is needed. The same is true in Poland. The situation on the Polish-Belarusian border is one in which organized groups, sometimes coached by Belarusian services, imported with Russian and Belarusian money, as well as human traffickers. The only idea they have at the moment for this situation on the border is to once again utter these words, which are an embarrassment, that Poland will defend itself as if these people had declared war on us. Planes to Moscow, to Minsk, there are fleets of buses. These people are brought to our border, prepared sometimes for months to cross it illegally, in order constantly to provoke conflicts on our border. With the presidential elections coming up, the political turnaround on migration is clear. When the vote was taken here in the parliament on the construction of the border fence, only the Polish People's Party, which was in the opposition at the time, voted in favour. When the majority of the then opposition and now the government denounced the border guards, the army mocked the defenders of Poland's borders and supported celebrities who insulted and humiliated our officers. Now, however, these same people are talking about the need to protect the border. But it has not been without controversy, for example, on the issue of asylum. One element of the migration strategy will be the temporary territorial suspension of the right to asylum, and I will demand recognition of this decision in Europe. No one here is talking about the suspension of the right to asylum. That is a lie. Ultimately, however, it has come to a suspension of the right to asylum for those who cross the border illegally. On the other hand, as opposition MPs point out, the government is planning to build 49 foreigners' integration centres at a cost of more than 400 million zloty. If we read the provisions, every immigrant will have the right to a personal assistant at the expense of the Polish taxpayer. The Polish government has not raised any objections to the forced relocation plans in the European Forum. I expect the current government to be honest. I expect them to veto the relocation. According to the Ministry of the Interior and Administration, there may be as many as 20,000 people in Poland whose asylum applications have been rejected but who still have yet to leave the country. These are poor people looking for their place on earth.